Good morning, John. I'd like to welcome you again to uh, uh, Jerusalem. You're a, a friend uh, in our common effort to restore stability, security, uh, and peace. There can be no peace when we have an onslaught of terror, not here, not anywhere else in the world which is experiencing this uh, same assault uh, by uh, militant Islamists and the forces of terror. Israel is fighting these forces uh, every hour. We're fighting them uh, directly against the terrorists themselves. We're fighting also against the sources of incitement. And we believe that the entire international community should support this effort. It's not only our battle, it's everyone's battle. It's the battle of civilization against barbarism. Welcome, John. Thank you. Um, Mr. Prime Minister, Bibi, uh, thank you for welcoming me here. And for me, uh, I am uh, pleased to be back in Jerusalem, pleased to be back in Israel, uh, though I come at a time that, as the Prime Minister has just said, is very troubled. Uh, uh, Clearly, uh, no people anywhere uh, should live with daily violence, with attacks in the streets, with knives or scissors or cars. Uh, and uh, it is very clear to us that uh, uh, the terrorism, these acts of terrorism which have been taking place, uh, deserve the condemnation that they are receiving. And today, I express my uh, complete condemnation for any act of terror uh, that takes innocent lives and disrupts uh, the day-to-day -day life of a nation. Uh, Israel has every right in the world uh, to defend itself. It has an obligation to defend itself. Uh, and it will, and it is. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with innocent people who have been hurt in this process. I know that yesterday uh, a soldier was killed in the Mehene Yehuda market in Jerusalem. Uh, and our thoughts and prayers are with his family uh, and those who were wounded, their families. Uh, regrettably, Several Americans have also been killed in the course of these past weeks. Uh, and just yesterday, I talked to the family of Ezra Schwartz from Massachusetts, uh, a young man who came here out of high school, ready to go to college, uh, excited about his future. And yesterday, his family uh, was sitting in Shiva, and I talked to them and heard their feelings, the feelings of any parent for the loss of a child. So I'm here today to talk with the Prime Minister about the ways that we can work together, all of us, the international community, to push back against terrorism, to push back against senseless violence, and to find a way forward to restore calm and to begin to provide the opportunities that uh, uh, most reasonable people in every part of the world are seeking for themselves and for their families. Uh, we have much to talk about. Uh, there's a lot happening in the region as well as those events that are happening here uh, in Israel. Uh, and we are deeply concerned about Syria, about Daesh, uh, about regional unrest. Uh, we all have an interest, needless to say, in working together against this spasm of violence uh, that is uh, interrupting too much of the daily life of too many nations. So, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for your welcome. Uh, I'm pleased uh, to be back here to continue to work with you on these issues, and I thank you for your always generous welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.